walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Trevor's got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Kenny Porter was asked about the possibility of taking a fight with Andre Berto because Andre Berto don't got a dance partner. He was supposed to fight Danny Garcia. They was talking about it on PBC, like the winner of their fight, you know, Andre Berto and um, Victor Port or Ortiz, the winner of that fight was supposed to get a crack at Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia hasn't really been saying much. Berto has just been sitting around putting his career on hold pretty much. You know, I don't know if he's ducking Andre Berto, you know, but he maybe he's taking a break. Maybe he's not even thinking about boxing. But, you know, Andre Berto, he can't just put his career on hold for Danny Garcia. You know, like you need to fight because you got to make a living. So Kenny Porter was asked about the possibility of taking that fight. And Kenny Porter said, you know, we need somebody to step up and take the phone call and take the fight. If Berto don't got a, a dance partner, we would gladly take that fight. Same with Keith Thurman. We want that rematch, and we want those big fights. Kenny Porter's statement. That's a really, really good fight, man. You know, I, I would love to see it, man. You know, um, it's kind of hard to pick a winner in that fight. Please bring that fight to Los Angeles. Come on, man. I think they might... If they make that fight, they might bring it to the Barclays. I think they might do it. But if they did bring it to L.A., you know, um, shit, Sean Porter had fought Kell Brook at the Stub Hub. That's where they fought at. So, you know, um, shit, some boxing fans, boxing fans are familiar with him here. And he come here, you know what I'm saying? I saw him at the Stub Hub for that Berto fight. He was there watching Berto knock out Victor Ortiz. So, man... That is a that's I never thought about the possibility of that fight happening. And I don't think that Andre Berto would avoid the fight. Andre Berto might even win the fight. It's really kind of hard to to pick a winner in that fight. You know, Andre Berto is really like um like people don't give him the credit that he deserves no more. I don't know why. It's like it's ridiculous. He's, he's still a great fighter. He's, you know, Came up short a couple times, but he's still a great fighter. He's a very strong fighter, powerful. He hit hard, but he fight like he's real stiff. You know, he fights kind of tight. So um, he doesn't really have much reach. So I don't think he would try to outbox Sean Porter. That's not how he fight really on the outside. He, he's really like an aggressive fighter. And he's a strong fighter. He pop Sean Porter one good time. He's going down. But you know, Sean Porter is gonna bring a lot of a lot of pressure. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna really come at Andre Berto, man. That's a really great fight that I've never thought of. Shout out to Team Porter for being willing to make, you know, any fight. Take it, take any of these fights, man. You know, they, they willing to fight everybody. The problem is, you know, most of these motherfuckers in boxing is pussies. You know, to keep it real. But you know, they they willing to make these fights, man. And um I think that'd be a great fight. I think they'd do really good sales, you know, at the gate with that fight. And I can't even really pick a winner, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, it's really hard. It's a really good fight. Cause like, what if Sean Porter run up on Andre Berto and Andre Berto catches ass one time real good and fuck his ass up? Sean Porter went down um, by, you know, a shot from Adrian of Problems Broner. But, you know, I, I kind of feel like he got caught off guard and he didn't go down in the fight against Keith one time Thurman. But who knows, man? You know, like you push that button the right way, your lights go out. It's how it works. No matter who you is. And we've seen it numerous times, man. We've seen Pacquiao sleep. We've seen Amir Khan sleep. You get hit with the, the right shot. Then you go night night. It's just how it works. So, you know, I wouldn't be picking a winner in that fight, man. But um, I really, it's really fucked up how hard it is for Sean Porter to get fights. You know, I see them in the media sometimes. They really like to chase these fighters around the country if they have to. And um, Kenny Porter once said that it's always that hard for them to get fights made. It's always like that. It's real fucked up, you know. Being willing to fight any and everybody, but not being able to fight anybody. 
you know, Sean Porter got two losses on his record, right? But nobody has clearly beat him, and everybody knows it. Everybody know Sean Porter is a hell of a fighter. And, you know, you could argue that he won both of those fights that he lost. You know, um, Kell Brook, he landed five more shots. He was landing, like, cleaner uh, shots. He was landing those clean shots, man. But Sean Porter outworked him. So if you throw in a different set of judges that was looking for activity, the punch stats was already close. Yeah, Kell Brook landed the cleaner, more effective shots, but Sean Porter was getting his work in too, and he threw, you know, 150 more punches than Kell Brook. And then with Keith Thurman, they both about landed around the same thing. But Sean Porter was aggressive. He was chasing Keith Thurman around the ring. Yeah, Keith Thurman was landing the flashier shots. But Sean Porter was controlling the ring. He had Keith Thurman on the run. So you could say that that one was a robbery. You know what I'm saying? And the crowd that was there felt like Sean Porter got robbed. You know what I'm saying? The, everybody that was there, they felt like Sean Porter won that fight. So, you know, that's why, man, you know, like even though he lost a couple times, you know, can nobody has ever beaten him like clearly, you know what I'm saying? Just completely shut him out, kind of like Devin Alexander did, Maidana type shit. Nobody, I don't think nobody can do it. Period. He's just a good fighter, you know, not just a sloppy, aggressive fighter. It's like a method to his madness, and he's effective at it, you know. And um, these fighters are scared, man. So, you know, um, I, I mean, shit. I think Andre Berto would take that fight. If, unless he has better options, you know, he might want to try to wait a little bit to see if he can get the Danny Garcia fight. But, you know, that's a really big fight. And um, I think he'll take it. Yo, let me know who y'all think will win this fight, man. You know what I'm saying? It's between Sean Porter and Andre Berto. I know Andre Berto has, you know, lost a few times. Um, Sean Porter has took a couple losses. But, you know, that's a really competitive fight. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... Let me know who y'all think will win that fight, man, if those two get together and make a fight. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxer. Subscribe. I got a good fucking with you. I got a good fucking with you.